Here we go. A couple of salesmen doing our thing. So we, won't, we won't talk about who owns it or uh, who made it. See how it fits? Oof, Oof yeah. Oof, you can kind of see that. This, boy, this is familiar. Plus, it don't. And it's not one. It's just really, yeah. No. Something's holding it out. This is the good side. It is. Well, it's got a strap here. Okay. I wonder what was wrong. But the latches ain't put in right. Yeah. Check out my deck lid here. Yeah, so it needs this Is door kind of lined up. metal in the bottom of it like the others? No, no, that's a good thing. That's good. Yeah, so that'll be easier. I think what's going to have to happen, though, the way this window is. It's going to have to be cut. It's exactly. It's going to have to be cut on the inside and bent yeah. back. <laughs> yeah, I laid. Yes, sir. Troubles. Yeah, a little, a little here or there. That's low. <laughs> The weird part is, you just can't adjust the door like you think you should. No. It's the way it is. So this is the worst door here. Ooh -wee. Yeah, ooh -wee. <laughs> Look at that gal. It's called buyer beware. Now, you know what the sad part is? The guy that bought this, he, he brought it here from another state, a couple states over actually. The car drives really good. He's had it for almost 10 years. So he got the car, put it together, got it driving, and then just kind of got stumped on the doors and on the deck lid here. So it's been sitting and sitting. He couldn't find nobody close to him to do it. And he finally called me. And uh, first thing I said, I said, before we even talk price, let's talk time frame. I said, I can't get to this for at least three months. Okay, so you see what our problem is there? So what I was gonna do is cut these, no, I wouldn't mess with them at all. I was gonna cut these off back here and get in there and hold it up where it goes and re-tack them on back here, this this one, instead of change it like you did over here. Yeah. Cause it's gotta go back and everything else. Yeah, it's, it's way low. Way low, way low, way back, doesn't even open into it. That's an inch right there. Yeah. Three quarters there. Honestly, I think this would be probably the easiest fix of all of it by just whacking it off of the the brace up there and moving it back. Loosen them all up. Okay, Don, you know the waffle's already famous, right? <laughs> You're saying, hey, my dad ain't getting no video time here. All right, tighten it up. So we got, got the apprentice. We got the we talked about this car the other day. It's not a spirit car, not a spirit frame, but nothing lines up. So we're uh, we're making the door gaps work. Right now we had to take some off. Now we're going to add some too. But uh, I don't know if you can tell, but is it still doing it? What we're what we're getting is when you take the door and you kind of get it this far right to about there, you can kind of feel. That it was hitting on something you had to push it hard but it ain't doing that now so you fix that issue but sometimes you can start shutting the door and when it gets hard that last little bit and you have to push it tight to get it get it shut Pull what it you're doing down. is you're bending the hinges or you're bending something so you don't want that don had the trick but i was pretty disappointed you want to tell them the trick? It's an old body. We never talked about it. We come from different schools in different parts of the country, but we had the same trick. Put a piece of paper in the jam. Well, see, he put a piece of paper in the jam and pulled it through. So if it was clear, it pulled Some through. Some of us used to use $100 bills. No, I figured Don would pull a $100 bill out of his pocket. But I always, I always use a dollar bill because it doesn't tear so easy. But he put the paper in the jam and pulled it out and tore it. Paper. So that's how he, he found out where the uh, where it was rubbing. And that's the best way to find out where it's rubbing. So, hey, that was uh, educational, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> so for all, all you folks from all over the world now, uh, at I least uh, you're from Arkansas, Definitely. right? You from Arkansas? So you, you're one of them good old boys. I grew up in the city. I'm a Chicago boy. So we had the same tricks. Yeah. So now we're passing on to the next generation. If anybody even watches this video. That ain't about 60 or 70 years old. <laughs> no, we got the apprentice. How old are you? You're in your 30s, 40s? Uh, 
33. 33. You didn't have to get the exact one. Yeah, he's only about 10 years younger than I am. All right, so on and off, on and off. Something like this would be on and off, on and off. I don't know how many times, but uh, we're making progress. It actually fits in the in the door now, jam now. Now we got to add a little bit here and there. Blocking is a good thing. Blocking is straight. You don't want that rounded. So we're, we're removing and we're adding. Yeah. Shut it like the mean it there. Yeah. Right. Shut it. All right, we got Don, the man of the hour. Oh, my. Got my grandkids four-wheelers going. They are like little kids now. And now James, let's see how, if he's going to be like a little kid. He's got a body that didn't fit. We put door poppers in. This is the right side. Oh, man, check out the other side now. That one's working good. Let's do the other side. We had somebody make a comment on YouTube on the last video. It ain't working right. It's, it's not shutting good. That's a, this is the door that the guy was saying didn't shut good. Okay. There you go. Looks like it's shutting good to me. Open it one more time. Now we do have an issue though. The trunk's just not working right. So here's the deal. It's all about the pivot point on a hinge. I mean, it is all about the pivot point. So I'm going to give you a secret. I'm not going to give you the mathematics. But it's got to be back and about where my finger is, is where the pivot point needs to be. So we're going to have to cut these. I thought we could maybe move the deck lid back because there's a big gap on here. We got it off now. You can't see it. But... There's a big gap on the deck lid. Probably about, oh man, you could probably stick your finger in there about that wide. And... Uh, you move it back, you just, you couldn't open it. The deck lid would open right into the, into the uh, door, the jam, the deck lid jam there. The trough, what would you call this? Rain, rain trough. The rain trough. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to cut and move the pivot point for the hinges back. You can see how low they are right here. They, they just need to be back about where my finger is. And if you're ever gonna build hidden hinges, that is the secret. Back and up, I mean, you, you can kind of just get the, uh, by doing it enough, you'll get looked at and go, huh. But there's uh, there's some mathematical formulas that we don't even need to worry about. It has zero to do with the shape of the hinge. You can make that hinge look like a piece of spaghetti. And if it's not, the pivot point ain't right, it won't go, it's not gonna work. And if the pivot point's right, it'll work fine. So we got a little bit of an issue with that. So we're going to work on that next, but pretty exciting. Coming along. Coming along. And he even did more body work than he was expecting, but the body work is good. So he can prime this thing. No way around it. No way around it. So this car's been, he built this car, like I think he said, 10, 11, 12 years ago. And he ain't been able to play with it. And it runs good. We, we drove down the building. Yeah, it's here. a cool looking car. So, a little bit of primer, a little bit more black paint. And, uh, well, a little bit of walling. We'll get some walling blankets out so we don't burn up the carpet and catch the gas tank on fire. But, except for that, Don, he's our hero of the day. My grandkids, my grandkids said they're running way better than they expected. <laughs> I guess they had low expectations from me, but you be the man. I told him I'd get him going for him. And you did. <laughs> now what about mine? You gonna get mine going? Yes, sir. It's and the good. golf cart for my wife? And They're in the shop. Then the spare one for when my brother comes <laughs> down. <laughs> I'll get out there. Once you just borrow mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm worried I'm gonna fall and break a hip. Now I'm gonna be back on a four wheeler. And especially yeah. when my brother comes. It's like, it doesn't matter that we're both old men now. I seen the way you jumped on it the other day. Well, he <laughs> he's a maniac and I gotta try to keep yeah. up. Holy cow. All right. So there it is. We have us at 32, almost ready to go home.